would have known. Okay, clock's already started. Okay, if there's one thing that being both an engineer and a musician has taught me, it's uh, the divided mentality behind the, sub the aesthetic, such as the arts, music, literature, and the objective, such as math, science, engineering, and so forth. And I hope to demolish that divide tonight. So I start with a quote, mandatory TED quote. If it sounds good, it is good. Now, why'd I pick it? Because its relevance is not so clear at first. This sets up a criteria for any aesthetic work to be judged by. If you're watching a film, if you're reading a book, you're really trying to answer one question, which is, is it good or bad? As opposed to a physics exper experiment where you ask, is this true or false? Now, this may seem to support this divide, but I'd like to think that there's a lot more overlap than is at, at first glance. For example, it's objectively true to say that yellow and blue mixed together makes green. And the whole color wheel and color theory is based on these objective observations. Similarly, where is the computer? Similarly, music theory is an objective way of analyzing something that will be judged aesthetically in the end anyway. Does your audience know what notes you're playing? Do they care? Not really, as long as it sounds good, right? And so you can see behind all these arts, there is science. And similarly, behind science, there's art. For instance, some people get certain feelings evoked by the Sistine Chapel. But those same feelings might be evoked in other people by, say, telescopic photography of the cosmos or macroscopic photography of biology. OK, so these pictures are truly worth a 1,000 words, if not more. Now, the real question is, why do I care? I care because people choose what they do in life based on what they're bad at. You know, I'm not good at writing, so I'm not going to take writing classes, for example. And it dictates the, the, the education you pursued. It dictates the field in which you worked in. It dictates who you socialize with. And I don't like that because I feel like it, it really um, narrows the scope and the manner in which you learn and communicate ideas. Furthermore, I could say that, and this is my final real point, an idea without communication is worthless. Why separate the two? Why separate the objective and the aesthetic? For after all, aren't they two sides of the same coin? Aren't they both pursuit of excellence wherever it may lead us and the desire to communicate those ideas with others so that they may share in the excellence that we have found? And if you combine the two, it might sound like this. <laughs> Three seconds. 